Welcome back. It is 1515, decade half over. And in the last one, we had little Drogo age up into an infant, and then little Isolde was born. Um, then we had uh, Eleanor get engaged to Nicholas. Um, Tobias and Wernher made their um, uh, relationship official, and he moved in with him and Violet. Uh, what else? What else? Um, we're pregnant again, so that's really exciting. Also, um, Gabriel's mistress, who is now Elaine Landgrab, is currently pregnant with his child as well. Alexander Goth married Kinley Dubois, and they're pregnant. The last Landgrab child was born. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. So this year, we have a few birthdays. All of which in our like main family, I guess, cause, does cause they really count? I don't know. But oh, and the land grabs, I guess don't. Okay. Anyway, no eight or 16 for Isolde. Ooh. And then no eight or 16 for Justina Landgrab, who was just born. She's good too. Now our Cesaria, no seven, 14 or 19. I love her. Don't go seven, 14, 19. Whew. Okay. And then also we have uh, one of, Oh no, seven. That's a seven for uh, Drogo. Who? Wait a second. Where are all of Cassandra's children? They should be aging up. Hold on. We may have messed this up. Sometimes I forget to update the spreadsheet. <laughs> um, okay, so Cassandra's children. Okay, uh, where are they? Okay, so Amory was the first one who did end up passing. Then we had Osric, Osric, Osric. So where's the Osric again? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. What? Okay. Hold on. So it looks like I messed up. Where's, what about Paulina? Oh my gosh. What, what kind of mess am I for real? James, James, James. Okay. James had gotten an update. I don't see Merrick. So. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to fix this a little bit. <laughs> I'm such a mess. Okay, Cesaria I did include. Okay, well Drogo is going to die, so let's just put that here for now. Um Okay, Cesaria, Drogo, Drogo did end up passing. Okay, so Merrick was an infant, should have become a toddler. One, two, three, four, five here. Merrick Gamal. What's the toddler role? Seven, fourteen, or nineteen? Let's check him. He survived. And then now he should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, she should be the same age as him. Did she die? No, she survived. So, gosh, I'm a mess. Paulina Landgrab should also be in the club. I should start writing these down because I messed them up. Paulina Landgrab should be a toddler along with Merrick Gamal. Okay. We have Cesaria and Drogo. Okay, so Osric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. Osric is fine for now. Also, Albert. I must just have been that year that I messed up. Club. I messed that up even worse than previous. Okay. Um, anyone else that year? No. Okay. Alexander is fine. Okay. Everything else is fine, I believe. Okay. We had to do those two roles. American Paulina should have aged up last year. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I was just thinking about that. I was like, wow, Cassandra's children are like not really aging up. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, okay, Lionel needs a, not a 7 or a 13. Come on, Lionel. 
All right. Will he get married? Can't get a one through five. <gasps> Lionel. Lionel will not marry. Okay. That means that the title is just going to wrap back around to Gabriel anyway, I guess. Oh, my gosh. Lionel. You should join the church then, obviously. Yep. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Let's hop into the game. So here we are. We are moments away from having our baby. I am very excited about it. I get excited every time we're about to have a baby. And I'm just really thinking about the different ways that this can go versus our, um, like for our storyline. If it's a boy, it's a boy. Did the magic work? If it's a girl, it didn't work. If they survive, if they don't, like so many things. And it is New Year's, so I'm going to give everyone an aspiration, and then that'll be pretty good for them for um, everything they need to do. And then we will follow by having our baby. So you probably shouldn't be drinking when you're pregnant, but that's okay. Um, so... <laughs> Moving right along, we are going to go into labor and have the baby. So let's do this. So we are going to give birth. Diana is here. I sent uh, Gabriel up, but he's not here yet. Siobhan is here, though. And it's a boy. But you guys, he does not survive. But it's twins. And it's another boy. But he also does not survive. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I think that it's just like I manifested this. I must have manifested this that like, you know, I'm like, oh, we're dealing with Henry VIII. He is so obsessed with having a boy, blah, blah, blah. And we finally have twin boys and neither one rolls to survive. Like, they both rolled a 20. How? Like, that's so improbable. How did that happen? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we just lost our twin boys. And I cannot believe it because it just, like, feels so surreal. Like, it feels like I can't believe it. And Diana is probably furious because... She just wanted to, like, if she had twin boys and they both survived, she would probably be done having kids. But, unfortunately for her, neither one of them survived. We still only have our one daughter. I mean, this is just wild. So, the next thing we're going to do is it is Cesaria's birthday. So, we are going to uh, bake her a cake. For some reason, the cake that somebody else baked, we can't interact with. So, whatever. But... Anyway, so we're going to bake her a cake so that she can age up into a toddler. We can start getting going on like her toddler skills and stuff. I think that, you know, Gabriel would make sure she has a good education and Siobhan is here to teach her. So there's all that. So here we are and we're going to go grab her and have her blow out the candles with her cute little yellow bow. I love that for her. She's such a sweetie. Um, she looks just like her mom. And then we are going to uh, ever have everyone have a slice of cake. And then uh, we'll get into create a sim and give her a new outfit. So very exciting stuff. Our daughter has become a toddler. She is the current heir because we don't have any boys. So there's that. Just trying to figure out what hairstyle to give her because even though the bow was yellow with baby hair somehow with toddler hair it is green don't know what that deal on that is but here she is she's so sweet I love her so much um she really does look a lot like her mom so I think that she is going to be a very interesting child we'll see if she actually takes after her mom or not but that's something we'll find out a little bit later so here she is adding her to the tree oh my gosh she has no siblings except for her half brother and oh my gosh, okay, so obviously Diana is going to be even more furious with Verena because Verena has currently had the only surviving boy in the family, so she is going to be so angry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we are going to start teaching her how to talk and like, you know, doing all of the uh, different um, toddler skills and trying to get her up on that. So there's that. And then we are going to have Gabriel just fix that. Everyone in the house is sick. Of course they are. Um, Gabriel is talking to Diana. He actually got a little mad with Diana earlier because of, um, you know, after both the babies died, he was just like so mad just in general. And, and I think he, you know, took it out on Diana a bit. I'm probably Henry is getting in his head about it being the wife's fault. But anyway, um, then we have Siobhan who 
keep in mind, Siobhan used to be the basically the head of this household. Um, and then when Diana came in, she took that away from her. She kind of made Siobhan basically a nanny in the house. Uh, and she's really irritated about that. So she knows that as of last year, the Peacock family is in the King's favor because they are the ones who are going to help him have a son and all of that stuff. So she is going to try and get an in with the Peacock family by getting with, so Ives Peacock is, he's currently like the eldest son of the family. He is a young adult and everything. Why are there fires literally everywhere in this game? <laughs> um, so yeah, his father is still alive, but he's the only son of that next generation. Um, and then basically she is going to kind of start a relationship, I guess an affair. It's not an affair because he's not married and she's not married. But like, you know, in this time period, they shouldn't be woohooing and stuff, right? So um, she's going to start an entanglement with him and hopefully gain a little bit of power through that. Now, remember, Siobhan is quite cunning, so she is always trying to get herself to the top. She did kind of mellow out for a few years after her daughter died because she really kind of regretted um, the things that led to her being estranged from her daughter because she would rather have been in her daughter and her daughter's children's lives. Um, but... She has now decided that because Diana is basically forcing her out, she needs her own status. So she is going to start a relationship with Ives so that she can gain some of the favor that the king is giving to them. Meanwhile, Diana is crushing her daughter's dreams, which is just great. I'm having them woohoo again because we really we need to get pregnant again. And it's it's been a, a day. Um, so... They are going to try and get pregnant again. She just really, like, I can't tell whether she likes her kid or not. Like, she hates children, but for some reason they keep autonomously interacting with each other, so I'm not really sure about that, but it's fine. And um, next, so as we know, Verena has kind of been kicked out of her status as mistress. So Diana is going to get in a fight with her because, you know, obviously Diana is still angry about Verena being able to have a son when she couldn't. And then Diana is going to poison her. She's like, you're not having any more sons. Like, you're not giving my husband any more sons. My legitimate sons should be, um, you know, the future Earl and everything. And so she kills Verena by poisoning her. Nobody really knows. I don't know, Alex Goth, what you're doing here, but um, nobody knew that that's what happened. I mean, the whole household has been sick, so it kind of follows that they would assume that a sickness is what ended up killing her, but that is not true. That's not what happened. Diana did kill Verena, and, uh, you know, Verena's been replaced with Elaine, so it's totally fine. Elaine is also currently pregnant, so that could be a problem for Elaine if Diana is angry with her, too. So we'll move on from that. And then um, one of the things, too, Gabriel is, like, basically at the top of his career, but um, he needs to make three more friends, I believe, three or four more friends in order to, it's kind of, it's kind of confusing. Obviously this is a like mod career, so it doesn't necessarily behave the same way, but when he gets a promotion now, it's like a plus one, but it still says like there are things to do. So I'm not really sure, but anyway, uh, he needs to make friends. He needs to make three more friends. And obviously he would go for guys that have, you know, some some status with them. I don't know if a meal is exactly the right choice there, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? So Emil and him are going to start becoming friends. I mean, they are f family through marriage, so why not, right? And then we are going to just, yep, move on. Somehow people are getting their fitness skill up. And I wanted to add more people to the game game but it's not really or not to the game but like add more people to this event but they they don't come here when I tell them to come as per usual and when they do come they leave immediately so there's really no point in dealing with that but yes I'm trying to he just became friends with Emil and now I'm trying to make him friends over here but then he like glitches Gabriel does like look he's stuck in the chair and now he's stuck in a seated position and he won't move he can't move Diana is just jamming all by herself. I reset the cherry, reset everything. He's still not moving. I don't know what to do. We're just going to have to accept it and move on. 
So uh, we're going to just have to head home because apparently I can't do anything else here. <laughs> uh, this game sometimes. Okay, so anyway, uh, Eleanor has left the event because she's in labor. So Eleanor is currently in labor. And then uh, she had a baby. And you know what? It survived. And you know what else? It's a boy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Diana is going to be furious that everybody else of her husband's, his, her husband's mistresses are having all sorts of boys and she is not. I mean, that must be so infuriating for her because, I mean, I would be angry if I were her. So there's that. Anyway, look at this family tree. Gosh, it is big. Um, let's head home now. So we're going to head home and... Of course, there's a fire. There's always a fire in this house. There's just always a fire. Look at this fire. This is a big fire, actually. The fires aren't usually this big. So, gosh, it's always a fire. Can you put out the fire? No, they won't put out the fire. Can you put out the fire, Gabriel? Nope. Okay. You, Diana, are you going to put out the fire? <laughs> This is why, you know what the problem is with the fear system, is that they get afraid of fire, and then there's more fires because they're afraid of fire. Everything is burning. My yoga mat has gone up in flames. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think we're going to end up having to call the fire department because this is just a mess. It's just not working. And the fire is just continuing to spread. And I don't know how to clean up this house. Like, it's just spreading through the whole house. Yes, okay, the firefighters are here. I don't know if firefighters existed during this time. But, you know, maybe it's like, you know... There's like some kind of neighborhood association, something, something. I don't know. Um, anyway, so moving right along, I'm trying to clean up this mess now because it is a mess. It's a total mess and there is stuff everywhere and it's just gross. But uh, for some reason, they can only pick up one thing at a time. I don't know why you're trying to buy an animal, Eleanor, but that is not something that you can do right now. Uh, okay, so anyway... After cleaning up the house, because it's a mess, and trying to, you know, fix things up. There we go. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to replace the stuff, curtains, everything. Putting that there. Everything is good. Okay. So, now we are going to come over here. Uh... And invite Ives over. So Ives has come over to see Siobhan. Uh, they are continuing their affair and everything. And so what I did want to do is have them kind of doing their thing in one part of the house. He proposed to her. Of course, she's going to say yes because she wants to gain the power that he has. Even though he's not titled, he still is in favor with the king and everything. And Diana has just kind of caught them canoodling and whatever. But Siobhan doesn't even care because now they're engaged. And she's like... Well, go ahead, like, I ha I'll have the king's favor, and you won't. And so Diana's mad about that, too. You know, poor Diana. I mean, I know she's evil and she's awful, but, like, she's just had a really bad run of luck lately. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Diana has caught Siobhan in her affair, and then we're going to invite Nick over. So Nick and Eleanor are engaged, and I think that because of that, they are just kind of taking a little bit more of a risky approach um, so they are going to woohoo and we are going to try for a baby so we know that she is pregnant and of course she gets nauseous right away and then um, we are having a, another baby this is Sarah Goth has just been born so she is now on the spreadsheet and um, that is the first Goth baby to be born there will be more but uh, there'll be five more potentially, but yes. So anyway, Nicholas is here and they woohooed and she is feeling a little nauseous, but she's going to talk to Nicholas and talk about how excited she is for their wedding and everything and how excited she is to get started with her night training once she leaves the house. And Nicholas is like, oh, you were really going to do that? It's not just like a hobby. You really want to be a knight? And she's like, yeah, that's what I've been telling you this whole time. And he's like, well, I thought that once we got married and like, you're going to be pregnant all the time. Like, are you really going to like be a knight and be fighting and stuff? That's not going to work. And she's just kind of like, what do you mean it's not going to work? Like, I thought we, I thought we, we knew each other. I thought that we understood each other. And she's like horrified now because she's pregnant. And basically 
she is she's like wait i don't want to marry you if if you're not going to support my dream and he's like i am supporting your hobbies but they're hobbies that's you're not going to be a knight like that's too dangerous for like a pregnant woman and she's like so mad and she basically goes up to gabriel and tells him like i don't want to marry nicholas anymore i can't stand this like i can't believe that that he you know misrepresented himself or maybe we had you know maybe it was a misunderstanding but like i mean he's not wrong she is going to be pregnant every year for like the next six years (laughs) but like Anyway, um, she's really mad about it. And she has this conversation with Gabriel and Gabriel's like, you can't break up with him now. Like you're engaged in everything. And like, you know, so basically Gabriel's like, you can't. And she, and she's basically, she ends up telling him that they did woohoo. And she thinks she might be pregnant. And he's like, he's like, if you have a baby out of wedlock in this house, you, you won't have one. You won't have a baby out of wedlock in this house because I will be kicking you out of this house. So you're going to marry him. Or you're getting, you're going to leave this house. And so she really doesn't have a choice. I know that it's kind of sad because we kind of saw Eleanor having this really great relationship and it was very supportive. Oh, also Cassandra just had a baby and she just rolled a one. So Cassandra just died in childbirth. And you know what? The baby died in childbirth too. So my life is awful. Cassandra was literally such a beacon of light and wonder and hope. And I loved her so much. And I cannot believe that she just died in childbirth. I mean, go figure. She's had so many kids that something would happen. But anyway, uh, we also had Lionel's birthday really quick there. But what I was trying to say while I got completely shocked and blindsided by Cassandra dying is that, you know, I wanted to kind of depict the situation with Eleanor where, you know, a woman is kind of reliant on her husband, on her, you know, brother, or head of household, or father. Like, she doesn't have a lot of options. She can't just go and be like, I'm going to be a knight now. Can I support myself like this? Like, you know, without the, the support of her family, it's not going to work. And not only that, but like, if her husband doesn't support it. And I really do think that Nicholas doesn't mind that she likes to have an active hobby but I don't think he wants her to be an actual knight and it's just it's tough you know um so I think that they both had different expectations and I don't think that necessarily makes Nicholas a bad guy I just think that you know he is being realistic about the time period and she thought that she was going to be able to be different and I know that's kind of sad because we really were hyping Eleanor up But, you know, maybe in the future she'll be able to, you know, convince him or, you know, maybe after she's done having children, she'll be able to actually become a knight and everything. So, you know, her story isn't over yet, but I did want to depict the lack of choices that women have during this time period. But yes, so I'm very upset about Cassandra dying. She's got three surviving kids now that two of them just died today. Uh, and she died, and I was totally shocked by that, and I don't even know where I was going with that. Also, I really feel like I thought for a second that this baby was a boy, <laughs> but it's not. Um, anyway, so I know, R.I.P. Cassandra, I am so sad about her death. I really did love her so, so, so much, and I hope that um, you know some of the other siblings can get as much love and attention as she did, but... We'll see where we go from there. Um, Obviously, Gabriel is still going to continue to allow their family to live there. Those are Cassandra's children. And um, her husband is, you know, a knight and is, you know, respected in that way. So he's got no problems with that. So, yeah, Uh, people are dropping like flies this year. I really did not think that Cassandra was going to die. I did did plan to kill Verena. But I didn't think that Cassandra and two of her children were going to die today. (laughs) So, and our twins, our twins died. I mean, come on, right? Like, seriously? Uh, anyway, so that is what happened. We lost a lot of Sims this year. Oh, yeah, I should explain the birthdays before this is over. I know you're seeing them, but let me get my paper out and say that Isolde Gamal and Justina Landgrab became infants. Cesaria Larkin became a toddler. Drogo Gamal died. Lionel Larkin became a teenager. Verona Albert died. Thora Knight, Safira Peacock, and Gracie Dubois all became young adults. And then Cassandra and her baby died. And then, obviously, our twins died, but they never even made it onto anything because they failed their being born roles. So that is what happened this year. Next year uh, is Eleanor's birthday. 
and yeah, we'll finally f see if Randolph Landgrab the second actually dies or keeps going because this guy, <laughs> he is living forever. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I know that sounds weird considering everything that's happened, but I will catch you in the next one.